some things I'm trying to teach you. There, uh, there, there's a blessing, but along with the blessing, remember this church, there's also a lesson. Uh, Michael, don't you just get the blessing, but get the lesson as well. Because I'm trying to teach you something. I'm trying to show you something. I'm trying to get you to know, hallelujah, uh, that if this happens again, if it appears again, you'll know what to do on the next time. You'll know how to operate. You'll know how to flee and turn uh, and go another way. But here we are. We keep falling uh, the same traps. Uh, we keep falling for the same situations and God trying to bring us out, but oh man, we think we're smarter than, than God. But let me tell you something. God, I'm trying to give you my wisdom. I'm trying to get it where you can come out. And, and the first thing you got to do, you got to kick the devil out. You got to get rid of it as long as the devil's there. You're going to be influenced to go the wrong way. As long as the devil's there, you got to fight, fight for your very life. As long as the devil's there. You will have strength to resist temptation. As long as the devil's there. Hallelujah. Look like you got a good day, but here they He just waiting for an opportune time. He just waiting to pull you down. Galatians chapter 4. Look here. You see, you see, the thing you gotta understand is this. Is that when the promise comes, when the promise comes, you ain't got no place for the devil. Uh-huh. You see, you put up with certain things. And certain things but when the promise comes, ain't no need of you hanging around with that dead stuff. And that's the way it was with Hagar. Before the promise came, hallelujah, Isaac was nothing but a symbol of hope. Uh-huh. That's all it was. Before the promise came, he could look around at Isaac and say, yeah, I'm an old man, but look what I did. I'm an old man. They say I can't have no children. Lord have mercy. Maybe the problem ain't with me. Maybe it's with you, Sarah. Sarah said, no, it's with both of us. You old, you can't do nothing. And I know I'm old. But God kept me allowed. He allowed. And something God allowed to hang around. But when the promise comes, in other words, when you receive the Holy Ghost, when you get into the church, I mean, show up, get into the church. When you really surrender to God. Uh -huh. When you make up your mind, this is it for God I live, and for God I die. When the promise comes, it's time to kick the devil out. Look what it says in Galatians. Galatians chapter 4. Oh man, I'm telling you, I'm getting ready to feel my help here. It says, now we brethren. Now we talk about you and I. Now we. Now we brethren. Talk about the sisters too. Now we all of us. Now we, as Isaac was, we are what? The children of promise. Oh, y'all don't believe that. Jesus paid it all. Jesus became a curse so that you might bless Jesus Jesus died that you might live Jesus he became poor that y'all you might become rich oh, y'all so right now right now right now huh, just like I the was we are the children of promise look at verse 29 but as then he that was born after the flesh Persecuted him that was born after the spirit. So it is even now. In other words, he's saying this. God Almighty, the devil, because you've been born again, because you love Jesus, because you're getting in the church now, here comes the devil. Here he comes. There's a war. Paul in Romans chapter 7 says, The war in my members. Hallelujah. He said, When I think to do good, sin in that flesh. Hallelujah. There's a fight. There's a fight to live for God. There's a fight to do the things of God. The Bible says. Uh-huh. Just like there was a fight between Isaac and Ishmael. Just like there was trouble. Sounds like I'm sick and tired of the devil coming in. 
nails. You know, got the contrary requirements. Just won't act like it. Got folk on the usher board. I'm thinking we got all we're doing pretty good now. But here come the devil on the deacon board. In the Sunday door. Uh, it's time, it's time, it's time, time. Look at the last verse, I'm through. Look at the last verse. It's time to kick the devil out of here. It's time, look what it says. Hallelujah. Are y'all right? Verse 30. It says, nevertheless, what saith the scripture? I know the devil's here to fight you with every hand. Now you gotta learn how to pull down strongholds. I know the devil's here. Hallelujah. He's an accuser of the brethren. He's here to cast doubt on the things of God. He's here to stop you from growing. He's here to hinder you. But nevertheless, what does the scripture say? It says, cast out the bondswoman and her son. But y'all don't hear me. It says, kick out the devil. Cast him out. Cast out the bondswoman and her son. For the son of the bondswoman shall not be heirs with the son of the free woman. Somebody shout glory. Cast the devil out. It's time to tell the devil no. Oh, y'all heard this say before. Don't let the devil ride. If you let him get in your car, he gonna end up riding. Don't let him ride. You get out of here. It's time to cast him out. Cause we are. The devil himself and all of his imps got you in bondage. The devil won't turn you loose. You're walking around full of fear. You're walking around full of doubt. Unbelief. Now you're in bondage because you're living in poverty. But it's time to keep fear out of here. It's time to keep poverty out of here. Sick. The doctors can give you medicine to cause you to get well. What do you think about the doctor? The doctors. What do you think about the manufacturer of your body? If he made your body, you don't need no bones peel for your back. You don't need hallelujah. But I know that Jesus, you can walk in the sick room. Jesus, you can walk on the cancer ward. Jesus, you can go to every hospital. Get on up. Take up your bed. You can be healed. Shout glory. How we gonna get it, Pastor? How we gonna make it? You gonna make it if you keep the devil out. Get off my children. It's time. Stay with you.